hello hello guys today we are going to talk about this motherboard this motherboard is um, a light book is a light book 1040 Is a light book 1040. Ten forty G three. So this is the motherboard. Ten forty G three. Let me show you the system. This is the system. The ten forty G three system. So we are going to work on the system today. This is the system. Ten forty. And uh, this uh, this touch. This one is touch. So this is. This is the motherboard. This is how the motherboard looks like. So let's plug light and see how the system is. We have removed the board. This is just the battery that is inside. So let's let's see how to fix this board. Once you see this board having this kind of issue, let's see how to fix it. So I'm going to plug my charger. So this is my charger. So I'm going to connect it to the plug in here. Now you see the light will be blinking. <coughs> there is the power light and the see the power light and the indicator light. There is the charging light. Is blinking so now how to fix this kind of issue first of all we are going to do some reading on the motherboard I've checked on the motherboard there is no physical damage so first of all you check for the physical damage if there is any physical damage or anything that is heating up but here I've checked nothing is heating up everything is okay there's no physical damage. The board is still fresh. See here, uh, still fresh. So, so right now, let me connect my my multimeter. This is my multimeter, and this is my okay. I'm going to connect the black to the ground. Okay, now that the, the blank is connected to the ground, so we first of all check for the 19 volts. Here is the, the port. So I change the multimeter to, I adjust the multimeter to DC and we put it at 200. So now this is the 19 volt section, the 19 volt input. So this is the red. I put my multimeter here, and you see it's giving me 19 volts. So now, from this here, from this, from here, is going to go to this is the first. This is the first MOSFET. This is the diode. So you check on the diet, you see 19 volt. Then then it's going to enter this MOSFET. So 19 volt is here. So here you see 19. So from here to here, then from here, from here to here, then from here to this place, this resistor. So when you check this resistor, you see we have 19 volt. 
So crossing this resistor, that means I think what has entered the board. So this uh, since we have 19 volt here, let's check for the charging port if we have 3 volt to know to be sure if the 19 volt is is in the board well segregated. So this is the battery port. Here is the battery port. Okay, nothing is there. Nothing is there. You see, we have three volt, three point three here. We still have another three point three here. That means the charging section is okay. So now, the next thing we are going to do, let's look for the required volts on each of the coil so now this is the first coil here this is a coil let's check for this coil and see what we have there let's check each of the coil it's still blinking so this is a coil you see here under this coil we have 3.3 .3. so this coil is responsible for the 3.3 .3 always then we also have here yeah, this 5 volt that means the 3.3 .3 here and 5 volt is okay let's check for other coil nothing is here let's check for this coil this one is 1.7 wow okay so this one is okay let's check here nothing is here nothing is here nothing is here uh, this coin nothing is here this was a so coin nothing is there let's check for this coin nothing is there check for this one nothing is there check for this one nothing is there Let's check here. Nothing is there. Let's check here. Nothing is there. Okay. We only have 3.3 volts and 5 volts plus the 1.7 volts. That means the board is not fully powered. So it could be that. It could be the. The bias has corrupt or maybe there's a bridge on on one of this coil here so the next thing we are going to do is to read a continuity of the coil to see if there's a bridge there's a shot on the on the coil before we now go to the values and see how we can program it first of all let's check for the for the bridge Okay, let's. I'm going to change it to continuity. Okay, this continuity. So I believe there's no other coil here. Okay, I'll connect it to the ground. Connect the black to the ground here. Yeah? This is the ground. So I've, I, I am going to unplug, unplug the charger. So no need to connect the charger when you are reading continuity. So, to have accurate reading of the continuity, I, I like plugging this red to the ground. Then using this one to move around. So this is the 503 volts. So I'm going to check it. It's okay, there's no beep. There's no beep and the reading is okay in here. The reading is okay. Yeah. The reading is also okay. Then here. 
and we have 006 is now fully shot yes for the processor so you're going to have a beep but with a digit so it's okay if there is short there is going to be maybe like 001 or 000 so since it's now one it's six okay it's okay due to the processor present okay there's a number there is okay okay let's see this one it's okay let's check here it's okay let's check here it's okay let's check here let's see this one is beeping is beeping one let's check here this one is okay let's go back here again Now preparing. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. Check this one. Check this one. This one is zero point six. This one is zero zero six. This one is zero seven. Let's check this one. This one is one two five. This one is one three five. Okay. Then uh, then this one is zero point zero. So yeah, the breed is a short here. It's a short here, so let's put it again to confirm. There's three shots. The shots here is in zero point zero zero. Zero point zero six. So in this case, when they see something like this, what you have to do because it's not be easy to find the shot here because nothing is hitting up, it's not hitting up. So what you are going to do is to inject votes here. Inject maybe two, one vote or two vote from this coin. Once you do that, the stuff that is hitting up, the stuff that that is that has shot will now hit up. So I'm going to connect my. I'm going to inject power here. One vote here. So I'm going to connect. I'm going to lay my okay. Let me plug my so the iron so that I can lay. Okay, let me just try it manually. So I'll connect this to the ground. So I'll now take this. Let me just use my hand see if how it's gonna be. Nothing this year.
wanted to kill this. this. Just inject one vote there. Something is sitting up here. This capacitor is sitting up. Something is sitting up here. Okay. Okay, this I see. This is the problem of this board. This I see it's heating up. This I see. So right now I'm going to check for the number of the IC then. Then I'll now find the replacement and change it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's it. So I'm going to get a similar board for this, and I believe once you once you replace this IC, once you replace the IC, the board is going to is going to come up. Once you replace it, it's going to come up. So if I don't have this IC now, but I believe once I replace it, it's going to work. So. I'm going to order this I see. I want to order it but for now that's where we are going to solve. Thank you. Thank you for watching.